Hey, what's up, fellas? I'm Ryan, a certified strength and conditioning specialist from theworkoutcorner.com, and you know what today is. It is a great, great day for working out and answering some of your questions. It's exactly what I do here every Monday. I pick three questions from the comment box below. Winner of the best question gets free access to my 8020 toolkit. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our first question. All right, Jesse Z says, are multivitamins mandatory for best performance? Yeah, when it comes to working out, and really even if you aren't working out, many Americans and people around the world are very deficient in a lot of vitamins which are essential to helping our body op, you know, maintain and perform at, at peak efficiency. So, you know, vitamin C, vitamin D, there's probably some popular ones that you've heard of. You know, vitamin C, for example, can help prevent you, you know, boost your immune system, help keep you from getting sick, therefore you're able to go to the gym more. In terms of, you know, minerals, uh, you're looking at like iron, for example, very important when it comes to rebuilding muscle. So when we're in the gym tearing it down and we're not giving our bodies enough iron, then it's going to short circuit the muscle rebuilding process. So these are like the little, you know, again, vitamins and minerals, so the little small guys, but they are an important detail that you want to make sure you're getting. So you can just take, you know, a simple multivitamin every morning and that will get you on the right track. All right. Hope it helps. Hey Ryan, first thank you for the videos and sharing your time and knowledge. Thank you, you're welcome. I have two questions if you don't mind. First, my gym has an assisted dip machine that has two grip options. Uh, let's see, wide or, in, or close. Second, what type of footwear would you recommend for both weight training and cardio? Thanks again, Adam. Uh, yeah, for dips, with the, with the assisted dip machine, the oftentimes you can rotate those handles in or out. It's not going to really affect upper or lower chest. What that does is focus more whether the dip work is going to hit the triceps more or the chest more. So if you have the, if you have the wide grip, that's going to pull the chest more than it does the tries. And if you put it on the inside or closer grip, that's going to hit the, the triceps more versus the chest. They're both worked. It's just what's going to be kind of the primary focus based on the grip. Uh, and then in terms of footwear, I mean, anything that's, you know, comfortable, I guess it really depends on your training. You know, if you're running, you want good shoes so that you're not hurting your knees. If you're doing squats, you know, I've seen a lot of guys, like I used to have um, Chuck Taylors for squats, so I have a flat foot when you're when you're doing squats and you're not arched, but, um, you know, I'm not really a foot expert, so can't can't give you too much advice there, just make sure it fits and, and uh, isn't giving you any problems. All right, hope it helps. All right, Spore0808 says, Hey, Ryan, just wondering how high maintenance is your lifestyle in terms of working out and nutrition to have that type of body? How many times a week do you work out and for how long normally do you deviate from your diet or is it very strict? Watching from the UK, great videos, mate. All right, so kind of sneaking in multiple questions here. So eh, we'll just kind of touch on a little bit. Um, you know, it's not high maintenance at all. And that's really a lot of what I teach in my programs in the food intake course and the muscle growth formula is that when you install the right habits and systems into your life, it becomes very easy and second nature to build and kind of maintain, you know, the body that you've seen on YouTube. It's not is not high maintenance, and you don't have to have a super crazy strict diet. Obviously, you're paying attention and monitoring to what you eat, but when you go on vacation, you're able to have a good time and relax. You know, this past week and still now in Arizona, was at a business conference. Now visiting some family. If you talk to Antonio, you will. He will confirm that uh, one of my guilty pleasures around this time of year is those, those marshmallow peeps, which is pure trash, right? Not good for you, but man, I love them. I had a whole bunch of them last week. So, um, you know, how many times a week do you work out? Hey, it varies, right? Um, you know, I work out pretty pretty frequently now um, because I have the gym, right, at, you know, at my office. But you can work out with little three days a week and start seeing great progress and great changes not only in your physique but more importantly in your energy levels and your confidence and just how you go about through your daily life um the deviate yes yeah, so i answer the deviate the deviate deviate from my diet yes that you do do that you know on vacation um, but throughout the day you know throughout a normal week when i'm working out you know i'm eating pretty much the same things routine because it's again it's easier to prepare and it doesn't require a lot of work you know, so I like to keep things nice and simple. All right, hope that helps. All right, fellas, that'll do it for an episode of Mind Food Monday. Go and put your questions in the comment box below, and we'll get to those. If you haven't uh, checked out the interview that Antonio did with me about fitness, 24 minutes of solid content in there for you to go through. It's on my channel, his channel. Check that out. And then also, I interviewed him on men's style. So, you know, when we're working out, changing our bodies, it's silly to hide all that or 
destroy that image by putting on crappy clothes and not knowing how to dress. So he will help fix that for you if that is a problem for you like it was for me. Uh, also, let's see who's the winner this week. It was Jesse, the vitamin question. You're the winner, my man. Go ahead and put a comment in the comment box below so I know you saw this. Get you hooked up with my 8020 course. Everybody else, have a good week. Lift hard. I'll see you next Monday.